If I have to restart learning blockchain development in 2024 from scratch, then what would be my strategy? What would be my roadmap, which I'm going to follow? Because right now we have multiple options, multiple technology, which we can pick and start learning around it. But what would be the ideal strategy which you have to follow as a beginner, as a developer, so you can have a faster development curve and you will get a higher chance of getting yourself into the industry because right now you have multiple choice. And I have seen personally many newbie developer, they get lost when they start and they waste a lot of time like six months, five months, and later they realize that whatever they have learned, like it's going to be a little tough. They are having problem in that. So what would be my strategy if I have to relearn all the technology and become a blockchain developer in 2024? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Before I go further in this video, whatever I'm going to tell you, it's going to be based on my point of view, my experience. Like I've been in the industry for the last five years, all the trends which I have seen, all the blockchains which I have seen, the way it grew in terms of project, the kind of financial investments are getting there based on the specific blockchain, the project, and the utility models, the companies are involved in building the infrastructure for the entire decentralized finance, NFT finance and tons of things. So what would be the ideal strategy and what would be the right path which you have to pick if you really are interested in the blockchain development. Whenever you want to do any transaction, build a smart contract, build an application on top of that, you're going to utilize any one of these blockchains. So you have to know that what kind of TVL value user is going to have, what kind of monetary value they're going to have because if the price of the project is high, then it's good for the financial product, which you can build on top of that. If you want to build a project related to the like faster transaction and a gaming platform, then you can go with a different blockchain, which supports that. So you have to keep yourself updated that what exactly happening in the industry. Now I'll share my point of view that how I look at the industry and how I look at myself if I have to start once again right now in 2024. So I'll to be honest, if I have to restart learning, I'll highly focus on Ethereum. The number one reason is that when you will start learning, you need to have the resources which you need so you can include those resources and you start building project and you will start learning around it. A technology which is not that frequently utilized in the industry in the past, but it's really new. In that way, you're going to have a lot of problem. It's going to be a very tough time for finding a support, for finding an article, for finding any kind of bug you are getting in the contract if you want to rectify it, you will find a lot of difficulties. If you want to build any kind of internal feature, and you will find that you have to rewrite every single thing from scratch, which I don't want you to do that at your initial stage. So my recommend would be to focus on Ethereum. Ethereum has been in the industry for quite long. They have the most number of contract and you almost find every single smart contract and you will almost find every type of smart contract on the Ethereum, which you can start focusing, understanding the business logic and you can start building around it. If you have any trouble, with the with the contract with the support you will find forums you will find a lot of f3 libraries which provide the same support so you don't need to write every single thing from scratch i would suggest you to build something from scratch because that will give you and help you to increase your fundamentals because at your initial state at least build three projects from scratch but when you will increase your understanding when you will understand the architecture when you will understand the contract then you can definitely utilize these tools, these softwares to build your application faster. That's what we do in the industry. I would highly encourage to focus on Ethereum because this is one of the questions which I get all the time that what should I learn? I'm a little confused about Solana and Ethereum. If I'm at your place, then definitely I'm going to start with Ethereum. If you are completely new to blockchain development, then you have to spend time. If you think that you're going to master blockchain development one or two months, that's not going to be happen. You have to be very good in one particular programming language. And here I would suggest you to focus on JavaScript. You can go with other programming language which you can deploy to the EVM compatible chain like we have a Go. But the reason why I'm recommending you Solidity because it's wisely used programming language when it's come to writing a smart contract. You can easily see that what exactly happened. And you will find an 80% similarity when it's come to a Solidity and a JavaScript. So if you master JavaScript, your Solidity is almost done. Once you're done with the programming language, then learn about the frameworks, learn about the protocol, that how you can make the transaction. Try to understand that how decentralized exchange, how the data transfer of the blockchain exactly work, what are the frameworks, what are the tools we have. You have to learn about it. I already made a complete roadmap for a blockchain developer if you really want to start now. So that's going to be my strategy, which I'm going to follow. That's what I'm going to follow. I'm not going to spend too many time thinking about that this or that or Solana is popular or I have to learn Rust, I have to learn Go. I'll simply focus on JavaScript. Once I build my foundation, I'll give my time three to four months. I will understand. If you understand one particular blockchain, if you understand the contract program, it would be easy and you can easily take a switch to any programming language or any blockchain just like this. It's not going to take much time. 
You can do that very easily. So focus in one concrete programming language to have a very good understanding about the testing tool which we have on Ethereum, like you can utilize that. So that's going to be my strategy. Without a doubt, I'm going to focus on Ethereum. I, I believe that you have your own point of view, your explanation. Just do your research before take any advice. Do your research and then take your step. Okay. And don't think about too much. Just focus on the skills. Once you will master, you definitely get it very easily. The problem which I see currently with the most of, most of the new developer that they don't focus on the learning. They start focusing on the end outcome that what I will get if I complete blockchain development. Even you haven't started yet, you don't know anything about the technology. The problem we have right now in the industry that we don't have good developer. Everyone is calling themselves a blockchain development and they are calling that the market is saturated. No, it's not like that. It's very hard to get a good developer. Like most of the contract we see that it's just a simple thing contract they're building. They're not innovating something into that. They're not implementing different business logic into that. When we try to ask that why you have included this particular functionality, they fail to answer it. So you have to increase your understanding. Like those who are good in development, those who have the understanding, they're getting their work done. Like most of the noise you will find in the lower part of the development, like those who are just starting up learning the technology, they make the most amount of the noise that this is good, this is bad, they think too much without focusing on the learning. Okay, so just focus on Ethereum, just give six months if you have a time, just give 100% focus. Once you will master that, you can take the switch very easily. And six months is a very small of time. You have no idea that how quickly it will go. It will go. So just focus this way. And this way you will have a very good strategy and you will understand like along the learning that what exactly happening. Once you have learned the technology, build at least three project. Three project is the must. Unisop clone, NFT project, and some sort of management app. Like we have a health management or voting brand if dab. Just check out all the project we have on the channel. Build at least three to four project. Once you will build, you will understand every single thing about the blockchain development. After that, you start applying for internship, uh, start applying for a job. So I hope you have got an idea that what exactly you have to, what strategy you have to follow. If you do this, definitely you will automatically feel confident and you will understand the industry that what exactly happening. And when someone will give you any kind of project, you can easily be able to read it and build that, build that. Don't try to involve in this too many talks. Try to focus, pick a particular framework, learn and just move on, move on. Okay, so that's the only thing from my end. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.